Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we are trying the McCart Pink Poly Gel Kit and oh man, I'm very excited to show you guys this poly gel kit. I know this kit has been around for a while, but I'm just now finally getting to it and editing it and posting it. Basically what you get in this kit are some dual forms. You get the instructions, a hand file, a poly gel brush, and it's a very nice shimmery pink. You get base coat and top coat, some slip solution, and you get these four different poly gel first is clear the next is this opaque pink color next is the light jelly pink and the hot pink I love all these pink colors and I really tried my best to use them all in this nail set. Let's just get right into this nail set. So here are my natural nails. I'm actually going to be doing this nail set with my non-dominant hand. So we're first just going to start off with some nail prep. We're going to push back the cuticles, trim off the excess dead skin. Then I'm going to remove the shine from the nails. Next, I'm using these extra long nail tips and my KDS glue to glue them on. This nail set was filmed a very long time ago. I actually filmed this nail video back in March. I know, like the beginning of this year. What happened was I got discouraged like to edit it so it was just sitting here but finally I'm like you know what I want to get a video out today so let me finish editing this it'll be quicker because I already had it pretty much half edited and also these are birthday nails these were my nails for my 17th birthday which was also back in March so after all the nail prep with the nail tips I'm going to be adding some base coat on And now we're just going in with this nude poly gel. This Gershon nude poly gel is my favorite nude color. I'm just going to be covering up my natural nail with some of that nude color. I'm going in with this hot pink jelly color and this color is probably my favorite. I just, I love the way it looks. So after applying it to the nail, I realized that the nude part of the nail, like I added that nude over my natural nail, it kind of looks weird. But don't worry, I cover it up later because that just doesn't look right. I just wanted to cover my natural nail because this is a jelly poly gel. I didn't want my natural nail to show through. But like always, McCart poly gel is very good quality and it works very well. It's like the perfect thickness. It doesn't move anywhere. It doesn't run, which I really like about McCart. So to do these nails, I tried to do it in one bead. So I just put a big glob of poly gel on my nail and smoothed that out. And now I'm going in with this glitter. You remember to try and cover up that nude part of my nail. Like if I had slightly like ombre that nude part out, it would have been better, which I think I did on the rest of the nails. So yeah, I'm just taking that glitter and covering it up. And actually this glitter looks really good with these colors, so. So yeah, make sure you crispen up those edges before you cure to make the filing process a little bit easier. And now we're going to be moving on to the middle finger and this is an ombre nail so i'm going to take that hot pink color and putting that at the tip of the nail remember when doing ombre we do it in two poly gel beads and we do the tip of the nail first and then we go ahead and do the cuticle area second So I didn't add enough poly gel to the tip of the nail at first. So now I'm going in with some more poly gel to make it a little bit thicker and the color a little bit more, you know, opaque. So 
So after I have the tip of the nail the way I like it, I'm going to go ahead and cure this in my nail lamp. And we're just going to move on to the ring finger now. We're going to get back to the middle finger, don't worry. So now I'm going to be taking the light pink jelly color and I'm also going to be putting that at the tip of the nail. This is also an ombre nail and I decided for the nail set to go for like a split nail look kind of thing so like my pointer finger and my middle finger are the hot pink color and my ring finger and my pinky finger are the light pink color i was trying to use all the colors in this nail set and i still think it turned out really good So after the tip of the nail is covered, I'm going to go ahead and cure that in my nail lamp. And now on the pinky nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing that I kind of did on the pointer finger. But instead of like making it just like a bead of poly gel on my natural nail, I'm going to go ahead and ombre that up a little bit to make it a little more seamless. Make it look more natural because on the pointer finger, that just did not look right. I still do add the glitter on it, you know, to make it look like it's meant to be. But yeah, I just did it a little bit better than the pointer finger. And then I'm gonna go over that with the light pink color. So now I am taking that opaque light pink and I'm going to be using this near the cuticle area of the ombre nails and I'm just going to add a bead and then ombre that up, kind of fade it into the rest of the nail. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the ring finger. And now on the thumbnail, I'm just going to be doing a full nail of the hot pink jelly color. Um, I'm going to be doing the same thing as the pointer and the pinky nail. I'm going to be adding the nude poly gel to cover up my natural nail, and then I'm going to go over it with the hot pink. Thank you. 
So for all the nails, except for the thumbnail basically, we have to encapsulate because on the pointer and the pinky I added that glitter and we have to encapsulate the glitter or else it's gonna get filed off. Another way you can encapsulate glitter is with top coat. If you added a really thick layer of top coat, that could work as well to cover up the glitter so that you don't file it off. And we have to encapsulate the ombre nails because if we file without encapsulating, it's just going to ruin the ombre. So after all the poly gel is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and shape these nails. I'm using my McCart dust collector and my hand file, and yeah, we're just gonna get reshaping. I have not done long nails like this on myself in so long, so looking at these nails is like, they're really long. I mean, I knew what you guys meant, like when you say like the nails are like really long, but like now, after not doing long nails like this for so long, now I understand, like I really see it. I'm like, these nails are so long. I think they're really cute because I really love long nails, but I have not done long nails on myself in so long. I recorded this video a very long time back in March. This was one of the nail sets I did for my 17th birthday. So I do have another nail set. If you guys want to see the other nail set that I did for my birthday, let me know in the comments and I'll get working on that right away because it's kind of, I feel like it's more of a part one, part two kind of thing, you know? And also if you guys want a little bit of a life update, I guess, school update pretty much if you guys don't care you can skip ahead past the shaping part but this is kind of the part where i like to talk about whatever i want so yeah a bit of a school update i'm going to be starting school on monday the 23rd august 23rd you're probably seeing this video on saturday and yeah i'm gonna be starting school in a day in two days and i'm kind of not excited like this is the time when i really like regret that i took that long break for my whole summer like i took the break for my whole summer not posting a video but that's like the time that i had time you know and i'm just kind of nervous that when school starts i'm not gonna have enough time to make as many videos as i want my goal right now is to at least like right now is to at least post three videos a week but that's like because i have time but when school starts i don't know how much time i'm gonna have i don't want to just post like once a month or like not post at all like like i did like i told you guys and i meant what i said like i did not like taking that long break it just made me feel stressed all day every day i'm gonna make the goal for myself to post at least one video a week like that's the bare minimum one video a week and if it really is my if my school is really challenging then i'll probably have to resort to one video every two weeks so like two videos a month which i don't want to do <laughs> i'm gonna really try i'm gonna try and get my school work out of the way and then i'm gonna try and post as many videos as i can so yeah just wanted to let you guys know that i am starting school very soon i'm taking four classes at my college because i am in dual enrollment i just hope that i have you know enough time to edit and post videos and make videos
so after all the nails are shaped and filed i'm just gonna wipe off all that extra dust with some isopropyl alcohol and here are how the nails are looking so far i think they are looking really good so i'm just going to be doing some nail art i'm going to be writing the number 17 on my nails because that's how old i turned and i don't know what to call this like font that i did but i just did like that trendy font that that everyone i think it might be called old english font but i'm not really sure i was doing this with my non-dominant hand by the way so i'm very proud of myself actually how it turned out it did kind of take a long time to do it but i think it turned out really good especially since i was using my non-dominant hand so yeah i'm just going to be taking this model one's black gel polish and my nail art brush and writing the numbers 17 on my middle finger and my ring finger that is basically the nail set after these numbers i never did like nail art like this before like once i tried it and they did not turn out good like they looked so bad it was like child like kindergarten handwriting <laughs> i find it easier if you wanted to do like some of this font nail art to have a reference picture and definitely like copy it as best as you can because that's what really helped me i had a reference picture right next to me a very long time doing that nail art here are how the nails look and now i'm just gonna go ahead and add top coat on all the nails i actually am very proud of how that nail art turned out so if you guys are interested in this mccart pink poly gel kit i definitely recommend it all the information for it will be in the description you can use the code nails by vic on the mccart website for 15 percent off and i definitely recommend this kit it's a good starter kit honestly it comes with good amount of poly gels and it comes with almost everything you need i would recommend this for beginners or if you just want the poly gel kit it's a good poly gel kit. So yeah, all the information for that will be in the description. So after the top coat, we're going to go in with some cuticle oil. These are the McCart cuticle oil sticks and I just brush on the oil around my cuticle area. And here are how the nails turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video is like from a very long time ago, but I still love the nail set. So I did want to show you guys because I remember telling you guys a long time ago that I was going to post my 17th birthday nail sets and i never did so finally it's here and i hope you guys enjoyed and maybe if you're turning 17 or honestly any age you can just change the numbers i hope you could use this nail set as like inspiration if you want so if you are interested in the mccart poly gel kit all the information for it will be in the description like i said before and i hope you guys enjoyed that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye